I stood there and I saw the entire world at my feet. That was the time I realized that I have got so much potential. I will never stop climbing mountains as long as I live. Helen Keller said it quite well. She said, um, life it is either an adventure or nothing. I am limitless. Is that, is that really possible? Yes, you are more than capable and there's nothing that can stop you but yourself. Adventure for me is life. I will never stop climbing mountains as long as I live. The only time I will stop will be the day I will not be able to stand up and walk. The way I grew up, the way I was exposed to the harshest conditions of lifestyle and being poor and having to come up through that had given me the confidence that there is nothing that I cannot achieve if I make my mind. But in a way, we are humans. You do find yourself believing on something, but you have that little self-doubt that really is that is that really possible? I have uh, visited the Nepal, Nepalese uh, mountains about five times now, uh, four of which have been um, only to try and reach the summit of Mount Everest. Namaste. There is life, and there's an abundance of it, and that's why we're spending days here before we go up there where there is no life. Things working out well this time means to me um, to be able to get a fair chance on having an attempt on the mountain. And if that happens, I don't really care about what the results will be. If I try, given a chance to try, then that is all I need, that's all I want, and that is all I am here for. All is good, no complications. The weather has been perfect. Some of my friends over there have had a glimpse of the big mountain and they are very scared. I am not, I'm going to take it. When I started walking towards Everest, I endured two months of difficulty, two months of cold weather, two months of near defeat on the, um, on the mountain. And then another leap of faith over there. beautiful. We find this beautiful area made up of ice and big block, ice blocks the size of buildings and trees and just looking at that it just fascinated me a lot. All members are here all good we're all tired dog tired that's all I can say. 
So that's what being almost on top of the world looks like. I don't think it differs much from being top of the world. <coughs> Prop. And, well. <coughs> and finally, after day 60, after having been defeated twice to getting to the summit of Everest, and it was in the early morning hours as the sun rose and I was on the summit ridge of Everest. I looked about 200 meters and I saw that little pillar that marked the summit of that mountain. So I returned back from Everest not knowing really what uh, it would mean for the country. I, I knew that I was carrying my entire continent in my shoulders. South African is hoping to reach the top of the world. Sibusi Savilani, adventurer extraordinaire. He just came through the arrivals gate and his fans were here to welcome him. He's told us that he wants to push his body to the very limits. Well, people call it madness. I think it's excitement. On the line now is motivational speaker and mountaineer who knows the terrain all too well. There was me without having seen a picture of Everest and I had no clue how high Mount Everest was. The first Black African to summit Mount Everest. Subisu Sovilane is now considered to be one of the world's leading adventurers. It was a, a moment I was never really expecting to happen. A week later, after returning, I got an opportunity to be invited to meet uh, the then greatest of human beings, Nelson Mandela. And seeing him walking out and standing in front of me, addressing the media and saying, we are very proud of what Sibu Sisi has achieved because his achievement sets a standard for Africa. It shows the world what Africans can achieve. And that was a humbling moment for me to hear those words uh, from him. As soon as I saw that sign, I just walked all the way continuously, non-stop, and stood on the summit. This is it, it has been done. And uh, the energy I felt at that time was unbelievable. That moment that I thought, wow, you've made this thing. You know, it's easy to know what, what you are doing, but if you didn't, really don't know why you are doing it, then the one sleep you will say, I'm out of here, this is not for me. You need to constantly remind yourself of that. That is what will keep you going when you're about to give up. The most the toughest day of my, of my life during an expedition, trapped in, in, in the middle of an, in, in, an ice desert in Antarctica and taking out my satellite telephone and calling home to find out how they were. I was tens of kilometers away from home and my less than a year old daughter was seriously sick. And and that was very hard to take because I didn't know what to do. I mean, we had, uh, we were on an, a multi-million expedition. I do want to be home soon. I couldn't just get up the next morning and say I'm going home. So I, I endured quite uh, a week of really being uncomfortable and uncertain about what to do next. And what got me through that was just having to humble myself and say, look, there's nothing that you can do. Even if you went back home, you won't change the situation. Was I having to accept the fate of what could happen, even though I would have felt very upset and disappointed if, if she had to even, even die in my, without me being there to support her. But thank goodness she didn't. But it was one of those uh, moments which were really, really tough to take. Any part of your life has to be adventure. But an adventure has to be a challenge that will put you in a state of discomfort, in a state of doubt. And it is when you overcome all of those that you build your character. What makes me sad about people who limit themselves by thinking that they cannot do much or they cannot achieve much is because they lack the realization of how capable they are. 
example, when I lead expeditions, when I hear people ask the question, do you think I can do it? I said to them, I don't have to think you can do it. You've got to believe you can do it. I believe that we are more than capable and we tend to limit ourselves by saying, I can't do it. So I'm not, I'm not that kind of a person. I am limitless. It doesn't have to be hanging over cliffs or uh, climbing and summiting mountains. Anything that you find challenging is an adventure. Get up there, look beyond, because it is not really about where you were born, where you, where you grew up. It is not about what school you went to. It's about how, how high or how far you want to go. The person is the limit. So why do you want to limit yourself? <laughs> go and keep going. Hey there, thanks for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And if you want to see more of my work, go check out my Patreon page where you can see a ton of exclusive videos, including an interview with Subu Sisu on his views on adventure and his life in general. So if you want to support the work that I do, go check that out. And I'll see you in the next video.